Hello, this is Maggie, and I'm going to show you a few things about how to use the tools to measure octaves, specifically the 4, 2, and 3, 6, six octaves, because that's what people use the most. The I'm going to use G to G for right now. The 3 to 6 tool is most useful because you can get it under one hand. I'll show you another way to, to work around that in a minute, but let's listen to this. Can you tell the difference in beat speeds? It's a little slower. This one's a little slower. That's just a little slower. If you're not sure you can hear it, let's ghost it. Let's find the coincident partial. Do you remember where that met? It's going to meet up here, so I'm going to hold these two down quietly and activate this partial. That's moving pretty quickly. Now I'm going to activate this partial. The same partial, but different notes, rather. That's definitely slower. Definitely slower. So we have an octave that is narrow of a 6-3. Now let's listen to 4-2. to two. That sounds pretty close to a 4-2 to two octave. It might be even a little wide of it. We might have an octave in between 4-2 and 6-3. I'm not sure at the moment. How about we activate this coincident partial? That's going to be here. Okay, now I'm going to do this one. Oh, that's, that's okay, so that's pretty much the same. We have a 4-2 octave right here. So a 4-2 octave obviously measures narrow at 6-3. How would it measure at 2-1? to one? We take this note down an octave. Oops, excuse me, this one. Measures wide at 2-1. to one. Let's ghost it. And I can get this one to activate by using the partial of that one. It's just a little wide. It's just a little wide. You gotta know which... Oh my gosh, that's hard to hear down there. It's easier to hear these. That's another reason. And if you want to work around, you can use a weight. Excuse me. So if I have a 4 to 2 octave right now, and I want to make it wider but not too wide, I might be able to use my 6-3 measuring tool to make sure I don't widen it past 6-3. I could go like this. I'm going to raise this G. Let's see where I am. Boy, that really wants to ring. So I'm not wide of 6-3. I'm still narrow. I'm still a little narrow. Listen to that. Uh, it's gonna make me crazy. That's real close. That's very close to a six three octave. So if I if I wanted, which I don't, but if I did, I'm still I'm pushing an 8-4 here. I 
I think I'm in between a 6-3 and an 8-4. I think I'm closer to a 6-3. But that's how you use the tool. If this were way off, I'd know I wasn't close to a 6-3 octave. Now what if I want to go back to a 4-2? I'm going to have to lower it. Now watch, see this is going to be wide now. See how much faster that is? Here we are. That's broken. So I might be above a 6-3. I'm very close to a 6-3. There we go. Let's try that. It's a little fast still. So I'm probably right at or a little shy of a 6-3 now. Yeah, so I'm a little slow of 6-3, little narrow of 6-3. But I'm a little wide of 2-4. I have my octave in between a 6-3 and a 2-4. And that's how I can tell. So I hope this helps you understand um, one way to use these tools. You can measure, you can use them to tune, you can use them just to measure and check yourself. When you're using other intervals to tune, they are a good test to know. This one's handy because you can use it in one hand, but if you get a little weight, you have it. And then if you have a pedal with a sostenuto pedal, you can use the pedal. So I hope this helps you. If you have any questions, comments, corrections, suggestions, requests, let me know. Maggie at thebutlerschool.org. If you has, have subscribed, thank you so very much. If you haven't, please do. Bye.